Hi everybody, in this small talk lesson you'll learn some useful questions and answers for talking about where you're from. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people out there. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel hit the red button and click on the little bell if you haven't done that already and don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my vocabulary newsletter with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. So check it out, the link to join is in the description below. And now we can start with the lesson. Are you ready? Here we go. Talking about where you're from is a great way to get to know someone better. Let's start with some useful questions you can ask to find out more about where your colleague, business partner or client comes from. After looking at these questions, we'll take a look at some different ways to answer them. The first question is, what's it like? This is a really common question to find out more about a place. It's really open, but most of the time people will talk about the size, the location, maybe if it's busy or quiet. Another great question is, what is it famous for? We can also ask, what are the people like? Or, what's the climate like? Another useful question is, what's the best time of year to visit? Or, is it expensive to live there? And two more questions could be, do you still have family there? And, do you go back to visit often? If you can remember some of these questions, then it will definitely help you to keep the conversation going. If you can think of any other useful questions, let me know in the comments. Now let's have a look at different ways to answer those questions. So the first question was, what's it like? You could say, it's very small and quiet. Nothing really happens, but it's nice. Or, it's very lively. There's always something going on. If a place is lively, it means it's full of life. Bars and restaurants are busy, there are people on the streets, there is a lot going on. It's the capital, so it's really hectic. Hectic means very busy. Or, it's surrounded by mountains, so more about the location, the geography. Or you could say, it's a sleepy village on the coast. What is it famous for? So you can answer this question by saying, well, it's famous for its... And then you can follow it with architecture, annual jazz music festival, museums, temples, mountains. Of course, it depends on the place. Another example could be, the palace is probably the most popular attraction. A lot of people come especially for that. What's the most popular attraction where you come from? Do people travel there especially to see it? We can also say it's also well known for. So it's also well known for its markets or it's also well known for its food or its shopping, for example. The next question is, what are the people like? Another nice question. Here are two examples of how you can answer this. The people are really open and friendly. It's easy to get to know the locals. Or the people are friendly, but they are quite reserved. Reserved people do not often talk about or show their feelings or thoughts. So it's the opposite to open. Now, what's the climate like? Here are some different examples to describe the weather where you come from. We have very cold winters and very hot summers. It's very mild all year round. Winters are not too cold and summers are not too warm. We get a lot of fog in winter. What about where you come from? Do you get a lot of thunderstorms in summer or do you get a lot of snow in winter? We have a very wet climate. It rains a lot. What's the climate like where you come from? Is it very wet? Is it very mild? Is it very hot? Here are some examples of how to answer what's the best time of year to visit. You should really visit during spring. What about where you come from? What's the best time of year to visit your hometown? The Oyster Festival is at the end of August every year and that's a must see. Is there anything where you come from that's a must see? Well, the best weather is normally in spring, but there's much more going on in summer. Is it expensive to live there? It's quite expensive, but the standard of living is very high. What about where you come from? Is it expensive? Rent is high, but everything else is similar to here. 
Not really, it's much cheaper compared to living in the capital. Do you still have family there? So this is a good opportunity to talk about your family. Some people like to talk about their family. Of course, it depends on the person and the situation. Here are some examples. Yeah, most of my family still live there. Or just my parents. I have a brother who lives in England. No, I just have one sister and she lives in America. What about you? Do you have a lot of family in your hometown? The last question was, do you go back to visit often? And here are three ways you could answer this. Yeah, I usually go back three or four times a year. Or, not really, just once in a while. Once in a while is another way to say sometimes. Once in a while. Or, not as often as I'd like to. If you can think of other common responses to these questions, write your examples in the comments and I'll get back to you. That brings us to the end of another Small Talk lesson. I hope you found it useful. You'll find a list of all the questions and answers in the description below. If you did like the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks, I send out my vocabulary newsletter with additional business English, words from the news, and everyday English for you to learn. The link to join is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.